Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to design my account page in WooCommerce using Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the WooCommerce and we have to go inside the settings. And now we also need to go into the pages and click on all pages. Alright, so here you can see this we have our my account. So I'm going to simply click this, add it with Elementor. Okay, so from the WooCommerce setting, I will simply go inside the advanced. And from there, I will simply pick these account endpoints. Okay, we will be doing this later. So let's go back to our My Account with Elementor. And if I just click here, so you can see here, this is simply a short code. So right now, I'm going to simply delete this. And what I will do, I'll basically click on settings. And from here, I will simply change the page layout. So that will be Elementor Canvas. Alright, so the first thing that I will need to do, I will simply add a container. That will be the flex box. That will be the single column structure. And here, what we'll do, first of all, we'll simply add heading. And, and after this, I'm going to add some text into it. So that will be text editor, maybe. Alright, so let's go into the style. This would be into the center. And let's just change the text here. Alright, so now we're going to do, we would add our heading into center and change the text here. My account. Alright, so after this, what we do, I will simply click on our container because I would like to add some spacing at the top. So let's just add some padding. So this will be 100 and also this will be maybe 100 from the bottom side or maybe 20 right now. Alright, so now I would like to add the background color. So that would be basically, so let's see what we can add here. So I would like to go here with blue color. Alright, so this color. So now I need to change the text color. So let's just change this to the white. And also change the color of our paragraph to the white. Or maybe we can go here with kind of grayish color. Okay, so that is looking fine. And now what I can do here, I will simply go back. I will add the container here. And I will simply change the direction of the container. So that would be horizontal. Okay. So the first thing that I will need to add here is basically icon box. Okay. So let's just add this. All right. So let's just add it our icon box. Okay. So in icon box, we basically have to add the options that we have in our account page. So we have to go into the WooCommerce setting. And the first thing that we have is the orders. So let's just add the orders. And after this, you can remove the description because we don't need this. All right, so now I will need to change the icon here. So for the orders, we're going to go here with the card. So let's just go with this one. Insert this. I would like to change the view here. So that would be stack. Okay. And now what we need to do, we just have to go into the style. All right, so the first thing that I need to do, I have to go inside the icon. And the primary color of the icon, let's see. So that would be a kind of white color. And for the secondary color, I would basically use black color. All right. Or we can use the blue color that we have used in the background. But right now I'm going to go here with the black color. Okay. And what we can do here, I think this is looking fine. Let's just go inside the content. Let's just change the color of the title. So that would be the white color. Okay. So now this is looking fine. And one thing that I would need to do here that I can change the icon spacing. So let's just see. Okay. So I think I would go here with 5px in the icon spacing. Okay. So that is looking better. All right. So now one thing that I need to do now, I have to add the URL here. Okay. So that is why we have opened the WooCommerce setting. Okay. So as you can see here, the for the orders, we have the endpoint order. So let's just copy this. And let's just paste it here. And we would also need to do one thing here. We need to add the forward slash. All right. So you can see this. We are having our link here. Complete link of my account. And here. All right. So in the link, we have to put the endpoint. So that is why we have opened the WooCommerce setting. And from here, let's just copy the endpoint of the orders. And let's just go back. And the first thing that we need to do, we're going to write down my account here since we are working on my account page so you have to put the url of my account here and after this you have to write down 
your endpoint so the endpoint that we had is the orders so we'll simply add that okay so now what we need to do i just simply have to duplicate this icon okay so let's click here and do the right click and you can see the duplicate option let's duplicate this and i will duplicate this once more okay so i have to see what are the options we have we have orders we have download we have edit we have address and then we have logout so that is basically five different options okay so let's just create five three more all right so now this is looking better so the first thing that i will need to do i have to put this into the center all right so i think it would be better if i go here with a space around or maybe space evenly okay so this is looking better and now what i need to do i just have to change the icon and i have to change the endpoint so let's just change the icon here so the second thing is downloads Put the downloads here change the icon and in the last you have to change the endpoint so let's copy the endpoint of the download and put it here we have to remove the orders put the downloads here and that will perfectly work fine so in the similar way i can go here with the third option so the third option would be account so here i'm going to simply write down profile Alright, so for the profile, we're gonna change the icon here. So that would be user. So let's just click here. Or we can go here with this one. So let's click here. And now we also need to change the endpoint. So let's go back to the WooCommerce setting and copy edit account endpoint. And what we need to do, we have to change the value here. Alright. And after this, we have the address. So let's just write down address here and let's just click here let's just search for address i think this would look fine so let's insert this and let's just go back copy this put it here and this will look fine and in the last we have the logout so let's just write down logout here change the value all right so for the logout i'm gonna search down okay so lock here so i'm gonna click here this is looking fine or maybe we can go here with this one so let's insert this and now this is looking better but one thing that i need to do here is to decrease the size of our icon box okay so let's click here and go into the style and i think i would need to change the setting here so that would be 10px or maybe we can go here with 20 okay so 30 is looking fine and we would also need to change the size of the content here so let's click on typography in the title this would be 20 maybe 30 p i think 30 px is looking fine yeah we can go here with the 25 okay so the 25 is looking better all right so what we can do here i'll just simply do the right click on it copy this and right click on this and i will just do the paste style and now you'll be able to see we can change the size of our icon and title just like this all right so now this is looking better and now what i need to do i need to do one more thing here uh, to create some space so let's click here and go into the advanced let's just go here with 30 or maybe 40 okay the 40 is looking fine and now what i need to do here i'll just simply add one more container and in here okay so now what i will do here i'll just simply add short code okay so let's drag this and put this here and we will use the same short code that we already had on our default account page okay so i have written down in the notepad so i would just do copy paste this and you can see this we are having this side menu or the side tabs so i will need to remove this okay so how can i do this that is really easy you just have to go and look for html and put this here after our short code and here what you can do you can simply copy paste this style from here you can simply copy paste this and put it here into html code and now you can see this we can't see the tabs or the navigation that we had on our short code okay so let's just save this and one thing that i would need to do i have to add some space here okay so let's click here and here what i need to do i have to add the padding at the top so that would be 
50 maybe right now okay so we're gonna go here with the 50 so let's save this and now let's click on preview changes and now you will be able to see our orders you can see here you will be able to see the profile you will be able to see the address and in a similar way you can simply log out from here so this is how we can create my account page in WooCommerce with the help of Elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel